Monday, August the 27th, 5th period. Warm-up quiz. Problem number one. You have to do them in order, left to right, two at a time. So that's 11. You cannot do anything like 2 plus 5 now. You can't do 5 minus 3 now. You have to go left to right. So the next thing is 11 minus 2. That's 9. The next thing is 9 plus 5. That's 14. And then the final answer is 11. Problem number 2. Uh, you have to do 6 plus 7 first, which is 13, and then 13 minus 5, that's 8, and then 8 plus 1 oh. is 9, okay. and then the answer is 6. Number 3. You have to do 5 plus 6 first, that's 11, and then go back and do... 11 minus 1, that's 10, and then 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 minus 2 is 12, answer should be 18. Number 4, answer on this is 9, everybody had it, last one. Thirteen minus four is nine, and then you have to do nine plus seven, which is sixteen. Sixteen minus two is fourteen, plus six is twenty. Pick a number from one to ten. The winning number today is five. Today's objective uh, goes right along with last week, add, subtract multiply and divide fractions but more specifically we're going to be doing multiplying and dividing fractions correction this is not multiplying and dividing fractions this is adding and subtracting fractions if I can write it well that's sloppy looking but it'll do for now Example number one, we want to add one-half plus three-fourths. Here's how you add fractions. Find the least common multiple between two and four. What is the highest number that will go into both, or the, what's the uh, lowest number that both two and four will go into? Four, yes. Having an awful time getting started this period. I fouled up the objective, now I can't even spit out the example problem. Uh, this will make a good ble blooper for the uh, internet, I can't even say blooper. This will be a fun one to watch. Uh, so it's going to be 4. So, now, what do I have to multiply 2 by to get 4? Two. 2, so you multiply 1 by 2 to get 2. And what did I have to multiply 4 by to get 4? One, so three times one is three. three. Now that you have the same denominator, you can add the fractions together. Two plus three is five, and then put it over four. No need to make it a mixed number. Leave it as an improper fraction. Example number two, five over six plus seven over eight. What is the lowest number that both 6 and 8 will go into? 24. 24. So I'll put 24 down here and here. Now, what do I have to multiply 6 by to get 24? 4. 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. What do I multiply 8 by? 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. Now you can add them together. 20 plus 21 is 41, and 41 over 24 is the answer. 
Practice 1. 5 over 8 plus 1 over 6. What is the lowest number that both 8 and 6 go into? 24. 24. So I had to multiply 8 by 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. 6 had to be multiplied by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 20, or uh, 15 plus 4 is 19. 19 over 24 is the answer. So we had three misses there. Sometimes people just miss the first problem. So we'll do another one to get a more accurate understanding of who. Bonus problem is 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4. What's the lowest number that 5 and 4 both go into? 20. 20. So I'll put 20 down for my new denominator. And I had to multiply 5 by 4, so 3 times 4 is 12. And then 4 times 5 to get 20, 1 times 5 is 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. Okay. Practice number 2. 4 over 5 plus 3 over 15. All right, for the practice problem, your uh, lowest number that uh, 5 and 15 both go into is going to be uh, 15. This one doesn't have to change because it's already a 15. But over here, you have to multiply by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. 15 over 15 is not the final answer. 1 is the final answer. Bonus problem is 8 over 5 plus 3 over 7. The solution, the lowest number that both 5 and 7 go into is 35. Did you have that right? Okay. Now what do I multiply 5 by to get 35? 7. 7. So 8 times 7 is... 56. And then what do I multiply 7 by to get there? 5. five so 3 times 5 is 15. What's 56 plus 15? Um, 71. Oh, okay. Alright, so it should have been 71 over 35. Bonus problem again is 4 over 9 plus 3 over 5. The lowest number that 9 and 5 will go into is 45. Now what do I have to multiply 9 by to get 45? 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. What do I multiply 5 by? So 3 times 9 is 27. 20 plus 27 is 47 and then you put it over 45. Practice number three. Four over 11 plus three over 22. The solution is the denominator is 22 so this stays the same. You're multiplying by 2 which is why we get an 8 11 over 22 is the same thing as 1 over 2. The bonus problem is 6 over 5 plus 1 over 3. Solution for the bonus should have a denominator of 15. You're multiplying by 3 here, so that's where we get the 18 from 6 times 3. Multiply by 5 there. 1 times 5 is 5. 23 over 15. How to reduce a fraction. 
let's say we have 18 over 30. That's a weird looking 30. We have to find the highest number that goes into 18 and 30. What is the highest number? Six is right, yes. So divide by six, and you end up with a three on top and a five on the bottom. Now let's say you didn't know the highest number was six. Somebody said two to start with, so what if I did this? What if I divided them both by two? I would get a nine over 15. But what number can still go into it? Yeah, so divide them both by 3, 3 over 5. So no matter which way you go, you're still going to get the same answer. That's reducing fractions. Always reduce. Never leave anything over 1. Never leave anything unreduced. Homework assignment is coming up next. The photo stream.